Hey there, this is Oliver from Lentus.com and in this tutorial we are going to see uh, how to textures, how to paint textures into Blender. So uh, I have here this character. This character, the, the base of this character was created by uh, Carlos Tenorio, a friend of mine. And the, here is uh, his web, uh, carlostenorio.carbomate.com. This is his portfolio and here he has some great 3D low poly models. This is the one that I modified a little for this tutorial and he has a lot of great uh, models here. Alright, so let's go with started, let's get it started and here I have this UV checker, this UV test uh, texture for checking how the UVs are affecting the model. So in order to see these textures here, uh, I'm going to show you how to do it. We need to make, uh, to, 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 you know, we need to add this texture to the UVs of the model. So we need to select all the UVs, go here and select this UV test. In this case, it's already done. And we are not seeing on the viewport because we need to select here multi texture. All right. We can also uh, see and work with textures used in GLSL, but I think that in most computers, this method is uh, more smooth. All right. The viewport will work smoother. So we activate Texture Solid in order to see these textures in solid mode. And uh, well, here we have the checkers, all right? Which is a pretty cool uh, way of seeing how your UVs are working. So for getting started, we are going to delete this texture from the character and we are going to create a new one. So let's go here, create a new and select here, for example, Soldier. Uh, textures 1024 is okay here's the option to uh, create UV test grids and press OK so here we have this uh, this black texture which is not very cool uh, actually I'm going to create a new one delete this create a new one soldier textures gray and we are going to change this to a gray color, right? Press OK, and here we go. So now in order to paint these textures, we need to go out from the edit mode, okay? And let me change to the pen tablet. So we are here. I can close that menu and with T open this one because here, we need to change to the texture paint mode and now we have a brush and here we have some tools for painting right here we have some tools right like clone uh, smear or, or, or blurring all right later we'll see how to use the clone for now we are going just to paint so uh, here we can we can select a color white is okay uh, here's the radius strand and jitter the blending mode Right, but uh, I'm going to show you now a few shortcuts with our, with F, you can change the radius. As you can see, it's changing here. And with Shift F, we can change the strength, right? Also in these buttons here, you can change uh, which parameters are affected by the pressure of the pen tablet. Right, I'm going to affect the radius right now and the strength probably. So we're going here and let's paint something. Okay. Something like this. All right, as you can see, we can paint onto the 3D model, which is very cool. Okay, so uh, now we're going to see some things right here. Uh, we can use textures, all right, for um, using with our uh, brush. Here are the tools. Here's the some parameters for the stroke, like the spacing of the stroke, the airbrush effect. If we maintain the brush clicked into the same uh, area without moving it, it will uh, keep adding value to our stroke. Here's the curve. All right. Here's the the um, the, the shape of the tip of the brush. We're going to make a few tests here. Right now, it's a smooth uh, curve, so you can see. It's uh, well. Let me go here and change uh, affect only the strength, so we can see it better. Okay, it's smooth, but if we change it to this one, which is square, you can see that is much more hard. 
Okay. Also, we can uh, select some different types of uh, curves, or we can create our own one, which is quite cool because we can make some interesting things like this. Okay. It's quite interesting. All right, so let's go again to the main one. Here's the appearance. Uh, you can change the color of the brush. As you can see now, it's uh, some kind of pink. And now it will be my blended's lovely color. <laughs> And well, project, project paint. I'll make uh, probably a tutorial for this uh, feature because it's very very interesting. We can take uh, a screenshot from this uh, from this viewport and edit it in Photoshop. For them, uh, just coming back to Blender and project the image that we created in Photoshop. Right, so we uh, configure it like this. Uh, go here, quick edit, and as our configuration is done. Uh, it will launch Photoshop or GIMP, for example. We'll open this viewport, and in uh, layers over it, we can just paint things, and then uh, save it. Coming back here, apply it, and it will project it from the viewpoint. So it's uh, very cool, but we are going to to use it in a future tutorial. All right. So once this is said, uh, let's see how the cloning works. Let's go here to the clone, and for the clone, we are going to take as reference um, the the 3D cursor, right? The part of the tester in which the 3D cursor is positioned over. So, for positioning the 3D cursor into the texture paint mode, we just maintain pressed uh, control and left click over the part of the texture we want to position the 3D cursor. That's it. So now we can go ahead and start painting. So there you have your clone. A very important uh, thing you have to know about the cloning here is that it depends also um, of the point of view. Let's see this uh, how this works. So you can see now this is uh, seen from the side and as you can see this is going to take that perspective. All right? So it's very important that you have this in mind, all right. From the front, it works uh, okay, but from the side, you need to take care about the perspective. All right, uh, you can paint here from the from the viewport, or you can paint here into the directly into the texture. All right, so you need to just go here, activate this option, and you can start painting. All right, let's go here, and you can start painting. Right. Uh, let me see where this is. There we go. You can paint over here. Uh, okay, okay. As you can see, it's mirroring everything because the UBs are just uh, mirrored also. So this is a low poly character, and the the um, the textures are mirrored. Now another thing is uh, how to select colors from the viewport. Well, you can just position your cursor over the color you want to select and press right click right you will select a color but what happens with this uh, well you are going to take as you can see the texture has the same color but depending on the shadowing of the viewport you will have some different colors you can see it here even the color is actually the same so you can go here and select them uh, from the from the texture itself which is not shaded or you can just press alt Z or just go here and select textured. This way you are going to see the model in shadeless mode because you have multi-texture uh, mode, shading mode applied in the viewport, so in the in the textured mode you are going to see everything shadeless. Right? This is very cool when you are working on low poly models and your low poly model has some uh, shadows painted over it or maybe you made uh, an ambient occlusion and baked it uh, into the character so as it ba it's baked you can see actually uh, shadows and things uh, over the character so you can work actually in shadeless mode this is very comfortable a lot of times 
and well more things more things more things I think uh, this is almost everything mm, okay you can also work uh, with materials and painted textures you just need to have to um, apply this texture okay save this texture and apply it to a material also uh, an interesting thing is uh, that when you create a texture here you need to, s to save it separately so when you don't have the texture saved uh, blender will tell you by putting this little asterisk uh, at the side of the image uh, menu so you can go here and just save as image or press f3 just as every time you want to save an image from blender um, all right there is actually an add-on over there that i think is called uh, texture plus or something like that which uh, adds um, functionality for working with layers with, uh, into the texture mode and all that stuff but uh, included in Blender we just have this so maybe in future tutorials I will explain how to use that kind of add-ons so for now this is everything you now uh, know how to paint textures into Blender and well I can tell you that uh, I have mm, texture complete models inside Blender without even uh, opening the texture in Photoshop or anything, everything into Blender. So, well, this is everything, uh, I hope you learned something and happy blending!